Hello everyone, today we're taking a look at a very special worm. This worm currently resides at the number one most viewed spot on my channel, at a little over 100,000 views. And of course, I'm talking about the Pikachu worm, which you probably all already gathered since it's the video title. Anyway, we'll go ahead and run it. So you get this message, between millions of people around the world, I found you. Don't forget to remember this day every time, my friend! Visit us at http colon slash slash www.pikachu.com If you go to this, it just opens up the Pikachu entry in the Pokedex site. So, close. It is supposed to mass mail itself to all your contacts. However, it doesn't appear to want to do so. And it does add a couple of lines to autoexecute.bat. Now these lines, as you can tell, are supposed to format the system. So go ahead and restart and see this in action. Just give it a little bit here to boot up to load the contents of autoexecute.bat. Come on, Windows 98. Doesn't take that long to shut down. Seriously, come on. This operating system is so slow. At least this computer is. Maybe it's frozen. Maybe I should just restart it. Control all delete. Control all delete, come on. Work. Alright, I'll try and hit the reset button with my foot here. Bear with me. Alright, I got it. Get the computer loaded back up here. I think I left my virus CD in the drive. Luckily it's not bootable. Alright, so you get this message. All files and directory would, will be deleted, are you sure? You probably wouldn't want to delete files in some random unspecified directory, so the average user would say no. And another message. Another user would say no. And then the worm pretty much failed in its mission to destroy your computer and the computer boots up normally. You can easily remove those lines from autoexecute.bat and delete the worm's file from the Windows folder and you'll be good to go. So this worm has the potential to be very damaging, however, the author didn't include a few key switches on its commands in order to format the drive silently, or rather delete all files silently, and instead the computer ends up asking the user if he wants to delete his Windows folder. Which is pretty stupid, pretty easily fixed, but apparently the worm author did not spend as much time troubleshooting as he probably should have. So that's about it for the Pikachu Windows Worm.